Welcome back, everyone. It's Kirok here. Welcome back to another episode of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. And, uh, yeah, we just sent an elevator down <laughs> to the depths of who the heck knows where. And I'm about to call it back up. Hopefully it doesn't bring back some kind of demon thing that wants to eat my face. Here it goes. I don't know what's happening. Next time, instead of going... And hitting the down button. I'm going to get in and see if there's a button inside of it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, there's nothing in it. <laughs> oh. Let's go in. Yeah, that's probably what I was supposed to do. <laughs> down. But I'm kind of scared now because I know this thing goes down pretty far, pretty far down, man. Nothing else, nothing to see, nothing to see. It's pretty cool. Can I look through the floorboards? Nope. Oh, wow. Wow. Saving scene. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Just kidding. All right, all right. A few options. We're going to go right first. Looks like it's a dead end. Dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end. Going to go left, and it's a dead end. Kind of like that. Makes things easier. Okay, I think we're going that way. Yeah, this is a dead end. And this is a dead end. We came downstairs. You know what's weird is I look back the way we came and I see stairs. But when I was going in this direction, see the, the elevators over there behind us? When I was going in this direction, it didn't feel like I was going down. You know what I mean? Whoa. Okay, here we go. Let's go this way. Wow, they catch the ambience, the sound, the hollow sound of the caves perfectly. Not that I've ever been in one, but oh, actually, no, I have been in caves, not in a mine. I haven't been in a mine. Okay, some sort of central room. Let's examine or investigate. This goes nowhere. Dead end. It's a nice dark corner, though. Sit in. Oh, okay, cool. Inspect. Is there blood on that? Inspect. Pickaxe. Empty slot. Oh, missing pickaxe. Pickaxe, 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 pickaxe. Where are you? <laughs> Boom. Can't tell because it's dark. I think that's a mistake in the game. But we know it's in that direction. Okay. And the pickaxe makes me feel right at home, just like Minecraft. Whoa, whoa. Wow, cool. Look at that water effect. Okay. This is a different elevator. Uh, does it go underwater? It goes up somewhere, that's for sure. Is this the switch to call it? Yes, it is. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Up. Yeah, something's coming out of that water. Oh, don't tell me. Yeah, I knew there was a body coming. I knew it. Oh, what a way to go. Lock broken from the outside. Victim drowned. Postmortem. Antimortem. Touch and hold. We have another one to figure out. Of course, I don't get much because I have to set a few things straight. One of those things is going to be this pickaxe, that's for sure. So let's see. Nothing back here. Looks like you can go that way, but you can't. Uh, actually, give me a sec, guys. I'm going to use the pickaxe finding tool or finding method. <laughs> 
so it's down that way. Oh, the pickaxe was probably used to uh, hit the mine or hit the lock or break the lock. This looks cool. Enter. Uh, this is gonna go nowhere, but let's enter. So forward, back, turn on. So let's turn it on. It's running. It's giving me light. That's awesome. I can go back, that's for sure, but I'm not going to go far. Okay, let's go back anyways. The reason I want to go back is because I don't know if maybe this trips on something, triggers something. Yeah, it stops right there. And maybe then affects something else in the game. And it should stop abruptly. No, see, I was right. It's heading in the right direction, the direction we want. Is this going to turn? Yes, it is. I honestly don't know what it's going to do, but I'm sure it's going to do something I need it to do. Back around. Oh, that's weird. Is it going to go right or straight? It's going to go straight. Inspect. Okay, so we got a ride. Let's... There's the pickaxe. Okay, let's get off. Can we get off? Exit. We'll need to turn it off. Awesome. <laughs> so here's the pickaxe. Uh, no? Yeah? Can I not touch it, pick it up, or anything? No, I can't. But I know where it is. I know what happened to it. That's a dead end. Okay. Let's hop on our uh, cart here. Keep going forward. We're going to end up having to come back and solve this mystery or this murder. Who was that that was dead, though? That looks like a way I need to go. Let's go forward a bit. How far does this go? Okay, we're gonna keep going forward. I should have stopped at that other one. Now it's gonna take forever to get back there. Dead end. Dead end. Okay, let's get out. We won't turn you off. And let's go inspect this uh, pathway on the left. And then we're going to have to head all the way back to inspect the other pathway on the left. Cool. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Like underwater geysers. I'm not even sure if this is where we should be going, but it almost feels like we have to because the the crime I scene. I feel two kinds of darkness here in Red Creek Valley is incomplete. The first you walked into, and with any luck, walked out of. But the other darkness was deeper, stickier, uh, unknowable, and it wanted me to leave. Is this a way out? Oh, hang on. That's not cool. Because, okay, we know the way out. Fine. Can I get out? I can't. Okay, uh, I know the way out. I can't get out because apparently my character is too dumb to crouch. See? No, nothing. Okay, let's head back. 
I'll bet this is going to be our way out after we figure out what the murder or how the murder occurred. Back to the hot baths. Just need a little bit of salt in the water. Our machine should still be running, and it is. You can hear it. Let's get on. Let's head back. Let's go check out that other place we skipped entirely. not it. I think it's coming up now. Get off. Let's go and uh, inspect this area and see what we find. Okay. Okay, keep spiraling down, down, down. Yep. Wouldn't it have made sense to put an elevator in? <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, how far down does this go? Okay, here we go. Read. Yep, let's read it. <clears throat> if this warning stands, walk no further. If this warning stands, our ritual failed. If this warning stands, the sea thing gate remains sealed. Okay, is there anything on the back? There's nothing on the back. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me get out of that. Yeah, there's nothing on the back. Because when the text is up, there's a very, very faint ghost image of the letter in the background. So if the warnings, if this warning stands, walk no further. So it's telling me not to walk. If this warning stands, our ritual failed, meaning... They use a ritual to try and get rid of something bad, but it failed to get rid of something bad. And the reason it failed is because the warning still stands. If the warning stands, or if this warning stands, the sea thing gate remains sealed. Okay, so what the heck is the sea thing gate put back? <laughs> of course, it tells me to stay back, but I don't want to. Hey, a map. How about that? Looks like we're going to need this. X marks the spot. Where am I? Somebody forget to mark where am I? X is usually the destination, but I got a feeling X might be where I am right now. Yeah, if I see a jut out that's a small little cubby hole in the, on the left side of this hallway, then I know X is where I am. Candles. Cool. Nice effect. Wow, somebody had a lot of time on their hands. Uh, 
Yeah, little jut out on the left. Okay, so X is where we started. Let's go back and look at that map again. Where is it? There it is. Oh, what's this? Nothing. Okay, so... Where do we go? There's nothing on the map that says we got to go any specific place. But I'm going to make my way. I'm going to hang a right, left, right, left, left. And that should get us in the big room. Right, left, right. Just stick to the right wall. That's all. Cool. Look at look, the, the glowing effect. Looks amazing. Love it. Right. Yep. Yep. This way. Right again. We're sticking to the right wall. It's going to be a left up here. And then we're going to go left into a big chamber. Right. Here. It's the center. Wow. Read. And there's a body. Oh, wow. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, let's check it out. Damn. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What the heck is that? And it went all the way up there. So we got to go up this way. Wow. Freaky as heck. We still didn't solve this, the, the drowning victim. Okay. Space bar. Uh, he is not dead, but it. What? He is not dead, but eternal lie. The god of strange aeons cannot die. Uh, we open the gate, the gate of old. Its guardian's eyes have long grown cold. The name of our god, our truth, our key. He is that which is, which should not be. He is that which is, which should not be. Interesting. Uh, okay. Backside, nothing. He tried to burn it. Put back. Okay, I think we have to head up there because of that spirit thing that kind of told us to go up there. But I'm just going to run around, see what's around here. Okay, I wonder if I have to solve that other one to make any point in the story of the whole game. Up, 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 up. Here we go. Sense. Uh, hi there, uh, dead guy. Oh, I got a, I got a feeling there's some kind of combination coming up here soon. Yep, probably. All right, sense. W and S manipulates the gate, and, and the mouse rotates. Oh, wow. Woo. That was D. Oh, that... Oh, this reminds me so much of Stargate. <laughs> okay, so how do we know what symbols to use? What do we got as reference so far? We can travel across the rings. And we can rotate each of the rings to bring up a different symbol. How do we know what symbols to use? Oh, that's zoom. Okay, we can use the zoom. Okay, let's... Can we get out of this? Exit. Oh, here are the symbols. Bingo. Are you going to tell me where to go? He probably is. He's standing on one already. So, is that the... What is that? Looks like a... Looks like the one that's already there. But, is he on the outer ring? One, two, three, four, five, six rings. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I don't get it. I'm trying to count the levels. Like, there's a, a row of blocks here with symbols. Then, there's a row of blocks here with symbols. So, I'm thinking this bottom row matches the bottom row or ring. Mind you. 
So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe that is it. Okay, so he is on which? He is on three, and he's got the D. So let's see. If I get it right, he should move to the next one. Right? Right, buddy? Huh? Come on, give me a yes. Come on, a little hint. All right. Let's, uh, sense. Uh, 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 that's number three. He's on three. There. He should move. No? Okay, hold on. By my theory, he should be moving to the next one right now. However, he didn't. So what I'm going to do to see which one triggers it is move them all to the same symbol and wait till he moves. Then I'll know which row he's on. He didn't move. Because I'm expecting him to move to the next symbol. So it might be this one. They're all going to end up being the same symbol for now, but this is just a way of figuring it out. Bingo. He didn't move. Damn it. Maybe my theory is totally wrong. Wrong one. He's still where he is. Um, what if I exit? Will he move? That wouldn't have told me anything, though. If I exited and he moved, then one of those is right, and I don't know which. But that did not work. But he's definitely standing on that stupid symbol. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There are circles and stars and triangles and squares. So he is on a diamond. Bingo. It's triangle, diamond. Okay, I got the right symbol. Obviously, because let me just change the rest of these. Right? Square. Triangle. There's my diamond, and he's on that half D, right? Let me move it. I want to see the other shapes. Yeah, there's only the one that matches. Not that one. That one. Okay. So now, if I exit, he should move to the next one. Hello? Come on, I got it right this time. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me, buddy. I got it right. Diamond, you're on the diamond. And you're on the backwards E. Am I supposed to talk to him or something? You're ugly. It's the right one. I'm sorry. Whoops. I'm not getting it. What does rotate? Just rotate my camera. Okay, so I can watch. All right. There is one other way to figure this out. But we wouldn't have enough recording time. Okay, let's leave it at that. He's still in the same spot. Move one, still in the same spot. Move two, yeah, this is not gonna work. I'm not gonna do this, there's probably hundreds of thousands of combinations. Come on, that has to be it. That's it. Obviously, it's not. Whoops. 
Whoops. Okay. Yeah, the symbols have to be the ones that are lining up and, and highlighted in red. It has to. So, he's on a diamond. Standing on, uh, not that one, not that one, that one. Okay. Well, guys, I don't know. Yeah, this is not going to do anything. Okay. Let's exit out of this guy or out of here. You're useless. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to give it a little bit more thought. I don't get it. That's the diamond. That's the same symbol. I don't get it. Whoops. Yeah, this one, see? Is there a way I lock it in or something? Nope. Whoa, easy, easy. Nope. It's like a combination lock. Once you get it, you get it. Okay, we're going to come back to you. Stump me there. Um... Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to end the episode at this little bit of a combination fail. Oh, man, that bothers me so much now. <laughs> and uh, this is going to be one heck of a ride back. Do we want to explore the rest of this cave? Because when I looked at that map way back there when we entered this area, I figured that the center, which looked like a big open area, would have something of interest. That's why I came straight here. And sure enough, I was right. This game tends to be somewhat predictable, and then the puzzles get a little less predictable. In some cases, not all. Anyways, guys, I am going to end the episode at this point, and uh, I will see you again next time. Bye for now. Wow. What a scene, man. Beautiful scenery. That's something. So here, sorry, I'm just being inquisitive. I need to make sure we're not just passing something. Man, these trees look freaking real. Look at that. Oh, easy. Okay, so there's nothing there. <laughs>